Hi, welcome to um, this ZP um, newsletter, podcast, and video log. So every week we like to do a, um, a roundup of the news from Zimmer Peacock. So today is the 28th of February 2021, but this is a look back at um, news and updates from Zimmer Peacock for the week starting the 22nd of February 2021. So if we jump straight into it, some of the news that we've um, put out this week is we have been quietly running a developer zone in the background where every week we've actually been doing a webinar for um, for our members. We haven't talked too much about the ZP Developer Zone, but now we've put a dedicated website up for the ZP Developer Zone. So the ZP Developer Zone is a kind of social site for um, entrepreneurs and academics and you know people who want to engage with each other about um, biosensor development and biosensor manufacturing. Um, Obviously, people can apply to be members. We do check out, make sure people are genuine, you know, developers. So that means there's a higher quality on the website um, or in the in the community rather. So, um, yeah, please take a look at the developer zone and um, please um, sign up for membership. Now, some other news from this week is um, at ZP, we've we did discuss this last week, but we've also, you know, um, we do gather a lot of cyclovoltametry data and a lot of data at Zimmer and Peacock. We're, we're not just a manufacturer of screen printed electrodes or biosensors. We're doing a lot of electrochemical study um, within the company. And so a few of the guys have produced uh, by accident some pretty ugly um, voltametry. And we'd kind of nicknamed it the Voltamasaur. We're actually going to turn the Voltamasaur into a, a um, T-shirt. And we're going to put that on our ZP merchandise store. But it just gave us um, an excuse to um, to actually highlight that we do have the ZP Academy. So you know we do have quite a database now, quite a quite a lot of resources for people who are interested in biosensor development and manufacturing. We have the Academy, and there's a couple of courses on the Academy that well, there's lots of courses on the Academy that are free um, and appropriate for biosensor developers. Um, but then, as I just mentioned just a minute ago, we also have the developer zone as well. So the developer zone and the academy kind of complement each, each other. In the academy, you can kind of learn, and in the developer zone, you can discuss. So they're definitely um, complementary um, uh, services that Zimmer and Peacock is providing. Um, we're also, um, this week, as part of the developer zone, we haven't, discussed it too much but actually we do do a webinar every Thursday at 8 a.m um, and so we're now starting to publicize that a bit more that we're actually doing this so every Thursday at 8 a.m London time there's a webinar we do have a core of people who come every week and we're it's the ZP developer zone members who are coming every week um, and so people can kind of sign up to be members of the ZP developer zone and then they can actually attend those webinars and what's good about that then is if you have certain things that you want to discuss or want ZP to cover then those webinars or those live streaming webinars are a really good um, let's say um, forum for doing that so we do have a weekly um, webinar um, now in order to see that weekly webinar um, you will have to go to the um, ZP developer zone and um, underneath there, there's a members webinar. Unfortunately, to access it, you have to sign up and be accepted as a member. Once you've got that, you can come to this page and you can watch that webinar every Thursday at 8 a.m. Um, London time. Now, we also wanted to just touch that we've expanded. Um, we have previously put together a... Um, some material about doing the analysis of wine and I'll just click through to that so on the ZP Academy there's the sort of analysis of red and white wine but we're now um, doing 200 of our sensors coupled in a package with something called the Sense It Smart so the Sense It Smart is a small potential stat that clicks straight into an Android you can see it there and so we now we have a kit of the Sense It Smart which is powered and runs on the Android, as you can see in the image, and we have 200 um, screen printed electrodes that go with that, so it makes for a really nice um, starter kit. 
So we just wanted to kind of highlight upon that. Um, and um, just a quick kind of comment that ZP, you know, we do do a lot of contract development, contract manufacturing. And we're, you know, we're really happy when our clients do meet their milestones with us. And so this was just a little celebration that the guys put together on a Friday um, lunchtime because one of our clients along with us had reached a milestone. And so we wanted to kind of celebrate that. And it's really just a reflection of all the services that ZP has around biosensor development and biosensor manufacturing. And then finally, just wanted to touch on something that um, at Zimmer and Peacock, we do do a lot of AI development. So we, in a lot of our biosensor development and manufacturing, in order to turn raw signal into, let's say, a concentration or an analyte, we actually do it by AI. Um, it's a really good strategy. And so the simple, or the rule of thumb, or the approximate rule is, as long as we can get 50 samples are positive and 50 samples are negative, and we can analyze them, so it's 100 samples in total, then we can come up with a pretty robust um, algorithm for turning raw signal into an actual concentration. So if it was glucose, it would be millimoles of glucose. If it was um, C-reactive protein, it might be um, micrograms per deciliter, but we can as long as you, um, or as long as we can get 50 positive and 50 negative samples and we can electrochemically analyze them on a biosensor that we've probably developed with you, then we can make a pretty um, robust algorithm. So that's just a kind of rule of thumb. So that was the news from Zimmer and Peacock um, this week. I was kind of noted this week, we didn't discuss nitrate sensing once. So um, a bit of a result, but I think the big news from this week is ZP has been running its developer zone quietly in the background and now we're going much more public with it through at least half of 2020 we've been running this developer zone we've been doing a weekly webinar for the members the members are coming along we've been tailoring the webinar to reflect what the members want and now we're really opening up that membership now so if you're interested in joining um yeah please click some of the buttons on our websites um it complements i i think the um the zp academy because in the zp academy it's kind of taught material but in the webinar you can kind of not in the webinar but in the developer zone you can learn through really through discussion um and as i say you know we've been analyzing red and white wine this week we've been celebrating our clients meeting their milestones and we just want to kind of give you a rule of thumb that you can use ai in biosensor development and approximately after 50 positive and 50 negative samples we can probably come up with a fairly robust algorithm Okay, so that's the news from Zimmer and Peacock for the week starting the um, 22nd of February. As I say, today is the 28th of February. And if you have any um, questions of Zimmer and Peacock, um, please contact us. Okay, thanks very much.